I did this video a couple of years ago, or actually, I don't know, 2015 or so. Um, how I remove things like T-posts, fence posts, or how I remove ground rods from the ground. And it was done as a short. You know, the video is probably less than a minute old, and it's probably one of my most used videos, or most viewed videos on YouTube. But anyways, I wanted to show you how I do this in a little more detail, where I'm actually talking and kind of explaining my way through it. All it takes, I normally use a 2x4, but I've only got a uh, 1x3. So I want to kind of hope that works. It's also nice and weathered, it may actually break. And you're also going to need like a uh, a strap that you tie stuff down with in a Hopefully this works this time. There we go. Just like that. That one by three was just too flimsy. It really couldn't get a good bite. Just wanted to flex. So now we'll do this in the same way. Easy peasy. This next one will be a little bit harder because they are they have less less surface area to bite onto because they're ground rods, but they come out just the same way. I mean it works the same way, you just gotta wrap them a bunch of times. doesn't help that I got all these weeds that get in my way. One more time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> It started to come out, but then it started sliding too much. It's mostly out now, though. I could probably remove it the rest of the way with my hand, but... 
I could get this to tighten up just a hair more, it'll come out. Just like that. Now the next ground rod will be really fun because it's really in the ground. It's also an eight foot ground rod and it's probably in the ground about six feet and there's not much of it sticking out. You can actually see it right there. Well, we're gonna do it basically just the same way. We're just gonna wrap the strap around it so the strap is tight and that it bites. And then we're going to pull it. Piece of cake. <laughs> Problem I actually got now is my board's too short. <laughs> And we're out. Yay. So there you have it. The longer video explanation of how I pull stuff out of the ground. Easy peasy. So anyways, the reason why those poles were out like that, when I had the goats... We were going to fence in most of this backyard. And what happened is the ground is not, uh, the soil is not very deep here before you hit bedrock. So running the fence post to here was no problem. But going past this, it turns into bedrock. And the soil is only about a foot deep. So that's not deep enough for the fence post. So what we ended up doing was we extended out from here and went down with uh, electric fence netting for goats. And that worked great. But uh, I, I have to mow around all these posts that are sticking up everywhere. And those ground rods were there because of the electric fence. And since I don't have goats, I don't need the electric fence or the fence posts out here where I gotta mow around them all the time. So that's the whole reason why I was doing that. Anyways, Hope you enjoyed this longer description. I'll also link to the original video. You can see I did it really quick. It was back in 2015 when I was building the chicken coop and I needed to pull a ground rod out because again, I was hitting bedrock and uh, eventually I got a ground rod to go literally eight, eight, nine feet in the ground. I think it's a 10 foot ground rod. Might be eight foot, but yeah. So that was the technique I used back then. It works. Here's the original ground rod from back then. I don't know what it's in the ground. It's probably in the ground. 
uh, eight feet at least because i think those are you know slightly longer than eight foot anyways thanks for watching as always god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads